Hello, my name is Steve Dissinger and I'm the principal at the Charles F. Patton Middle School and I wanted to just take a few minutes to go over the uh, Patton Middle School virtual schedule that we will be starting with uh, at the start of this school year. Um, the goal of this schedule really is to uh, incorporate all of the wonderful and valuable input that we received through our survey data in the spring uh, from teachers, parents, students, uh, all of those, uh, all of that information is really addressed in this virtual schedule, and we feel really good about uh, what we're what we'll be able to do uh, with the schedule that we came up with. So, let me just first go through the structure of the schedule. A couple things that I want to point out, and then I'll just go through, uh, you know, the schedule to to explain each part of it. But the structure of the schedule is it's really built on 45 minute periods, instructional periods that closely align with our current or existing traditional brick and mortar bell schedule. It, it's almost identical in many ways uh, with some differences, but uh, that really will enable us when we do get back into school, either in a hybrid model or, or hopefully and ultimately into an all in everyday model, um, it'll it'll be a smooth transition right into our normal bell schedule that we would follow if we were at school. The other part of the the virtual schedule is it it has alternating days. It starts with purple day, then it alternates to a gold day, then purple, then gold, then purple, then gold, and so on. Um, the alternating purple and gold days still follow our traditional normal six, six day cycle, that A, B, C, D, E, F day cycle that still is in place. And that enables us to, to uh, maintain our enrichment classes on a normal schedule and, and implement lunch rotations when we get back into the building. It allows us to do all of those things with very little um, change. On a purple day, uh, the, the morning periods will be synchronous. And what that means is that those per synchronous periods are live instruction. That means that the students are uh, remoting in with a teacher. It's all live. It's in the moment. Um, it's not recorded necessarily. It's all, it's all live. That's what synchronous is. Uh, on a purple day, those synchronous lessons occur in the morning, and then in the afternoon, there are asynchronous activities. And what that means is that they are not teacher directed in a live format. They are assignments that students or activities that students would work on independently um, <clears throat> without a teacher being there necessarily to assist them. So on a purple day, the asynchronous classes or asynchronous activities occur during the afternoon classes. And then on a gold day, it just flips. And I'll show you this in a minute. Um, on a gold day, the asynchronous uh, activities occur during the morning periods and the synchronous activities occur during the afternoon periods. Um, one thing uh, or two things I want to point out. First of all, purple days always occur on A, C, and E. Gold days always occur on B, D, and F. So if you think about the first day of school will be a purple day. So that'll be purple, which is an A day. The next day is going to be a gold day. That'll be a B day. And then followed by a purple day, which will be a C day. And then followed by a gold day, which will be a D day, and so on to go through uh, until you go through the six day cycle, then it starts all over again. In addition to that, I do want to point out that uh, on purple and gold days, which means every day, there is one hour from every teacher devoted to what we refer to as extra help um, or what others refer to sometimes as teacher office hours. One hour every day, every teacher that that is built into the schedule during those um, asynchronous times, either in the afternoon on a purple day or the morning of a gold day. Teachers will communicate that uh, via their Canvas announcements, uh, their Canvas homepage, Canvas is our learning management system. So students will have, will know when those office hours occur. Okay, let's jump into the schedule. So you can see the schedule is broken up by grade level. You have sixth here on the left, and then in the middle is seventh grade. And then eighth grade over on the far right, this is a purple day. You can see that students, uh, they check in every day at eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, they go to their advisory virtually, 
Uh, they do an advisory activity. The advisory teacher will take attendance, uh, do check-ins, all of those normal things that happen during an advisory period. And then uh, students have five minutes to switch over to the next Zoom room, which uh, would be their period one class. So in this case, sixth grade, it would be an enrichment class. I'm gonna pause there for a moment and explain <clears throat> the difference between an enrichment class and a core class. Uh, and an, a core class, for example, would be math, English language arts, social studies, science, geography. An enrichment class refers to our, uh, sometimes we refer to those as our electives. It would be art, music, world language, health, PE, et cetera. It's, it's our, uh, our enrichment classes. So that's what enrichment means in the schedule and what core means in the schedule. So you can see in, on a purple day in the morning, these darker shaded purple blocks are all synchronous learning activities. They are live activities. Notice there's a five minute break in between each class for students to stand up, take a break, stretch, whatever, get a drink. Uh, and then we build in a longer 10 minute break at 9.45 every day. And then students get a lunch break at 11.30 every day. And then if you notice these uh, lighter shaded purple blocks or lavender colored blocks, that's the shift into the PM asynchronous learning activities uh, on a purple day. And, uh, and then the day ends, every day ends with an advisory period again at the, the, for the last 20 minutes of the day. Students, and that's always a live synchronous activity, students report back to their advisory classroom where they might do a uh, um, social emotional learning activity. They might get, again, get some extra help from a teacher. They might go to a music rehearsal, um, a variety of activities that will happen during that last 20 minutes of the day. That's what a purple day looks like. Let me show you a gold day. Um, really the same thing. The, the only difference with a gold day is those asynchronous activities occur during the morning periods. Um, and the live synchronous activities occur during the afternoon periods. So it's really the same as a purple day, it's just flip-flopped. A um, Couple things I wanna point out too, these numbers here, this, uh, like for example, here it says 4-5, and over here it, does, it says 5-6. Down here it says 7-8 or 6-7. Just ignore those numbers. Those numbers are there as part of our brick and mortar schedule. Again, I said earlier that we really do want to try to set ourselves up for a smooth transition to our uh, a hot, um, brick and mortar schedule uh, in the near future, hopefully. Um, those numbers allow us to build in our three lunch rotations in our cafeteria. So they don't really apply to a virtual setting. You don't even have to worry about those. Really want to, what you want to focus on is more the, um, the sequence of, of how the periods um, operate. That's it. Please know that uh, also that, that everything is posted on our website. This video, all of our information is posted on uh, the Patton Middle School homepage. If you go there, there'll be a link for um, you know, virtual learning. It has all of this information on it in addition to a lot of other information that will be helpful to, to our parents and certainly to our students. So I encourage you to check that out. Um, and also don't hesitate to, to email me or call the school if you have any questions. We're more, more than willing to help. Thanks so much.